Hi everyone, it's me, I'm back. My name is Erin if you're new here and I just want to share this new hygiene method with you because it's kind of embarrassing but ever since I hit puberty my underarms have been, the odor is, is really, it's been terrible. If you relate at all, I'm sorry but I I empathize with you, I see you, I feel you, I hear you, and that's why I wanted to produce this video because I see a lot of, you know, when you want to find an answer or learn how to do something, you always go to YouTube and um, you always go to YouTube to, you know, hear some advice or whatever, and I just don't believe that there's really any useful advice on YouTube that I have found. There was one girl actually recently, like a few weeks ago, that I stumbled across her short one day and she was talking about this, but that was the one and only time and I don't even remember who she was and that was the only short that I've ever seen of hers. So I'm just going to share with you the hygiene method that I have now that has worked. Now, we've seen all those tips like avoid garlic and onion and uh, chew on some mint, take some chlorophyll pills, you know, freshly cut a lemon and, you know, rub the wedge under your arm and baking soda and, um, you know, undergo surgery to remove your sweat glands and all that type of stuff. And it's uh, useless advice at best and very invasive and unnecessary at worst. So I just wanted to share with you my method. I just wanted to share with you uh, what I found to be what actually works. Without further delay, I'll just show you what I do. Alright guys, the first step is to shave your underarms. You may not want to do this, but the odor and the bacteria gets trapped in the hairs and you do have to remove this initially. And you don't really have to do this or keep it clean shaven all the time. Just this first time that you do this, you will have to do it. You're going to need these Korean washcloths. Um, I will link in the description what they are, the ones that I've bought that I know work. And you're going to need any body wash that you use. You don't have to buy some special body wash. That's just what I use. Olay. It lathers really well and you're just going to clean the area. You do not have to rub really hard or anything, just like light circular motions. Uh, don't hurt yourself. Don't break the skin. I know your first instinct is to really get in there and rub it, but don't. And then with a, a regular washcloth, you're just going to rinse that off. And then I just dry it, pat it down. And then you're going to get your mineral salt rock. Um, this is a uh, Thai crystal deodorant that I have. I'll link it also. You do not have to buy the one that I bought, but this is just the one that I get. Just make sure it is 100% potassium alum. That is the ingredient. I hope you give this a try. You're not wasting your money. It actually works. I was absolutely amazed. And I will be more open with you about some stories that I was dealing with before I found this. So, deodorants did not work for me at all. None worked for me. Now, antiperspirants also don't either. They both would mix with my scent and still stain my clothes. And nothing could stop this smell. Nothing. I would get in the shower, get out, dry off, and the smell would still be there. There was nothing I could do. You know, washcloths would work. Those little puffs that you have in the shower will not work. I had a loofah at one point. I had a uh, pumice stone. Well, I've had numerous people tell me that I smell or whatever, and I was never nose blind. I could always, I always could smell it at all times. So I would wear layers. I would try to keep my arms to my sides like this and not move. You know, not lift up, no drastic movements because I didn't want to be wafting my scent everywhere. And it was just very bad. I mean, I've uh, people have been telling me uh, that I've been smelling onions. I was in home ec class one time and I was sitting across from my friend and I stretched or whatever I did. And she was like, oh my gosh, it smells like onions. And I'm like, oh, they must be 
cutting some in the back or something, you know. So I was obviously constantly self-conscious and um, it just puts a damper on life when you have to constantly con be conscious of what your movements, what you're doing and stuff like that. I've had another friend told me I smell like burnt spices and <laughs> one time I was a nanny for a while for an Indian couple who had two children and one of their five-year-olds spelled me one time and she was like, and she's so sweet, she was only five, but she said, oh my gosh, you smell like, and it was an Indian dish, which I don't remember what it was, never had it, never tried it, and um, her dad overheard her and she was like, and he was like, oh my gosh, stop, be quiet, it's just an Indian dish, don't worry about it. He was just very polite and trying to, um, you know, not let me be offended, I guess, but I wasn't offended. I was like, yes, I know how I smell. And my, all my clothing would be uh, stained with the scent, like the washer couldn't wash it out. So if you're late at all to any of this that I'm speaking about or talking about, I feel for you and I'm so sorry that you have to go through this, but you do not have to go through it anymore, but you're not alone. Um, if you do these simple tweaks to your hygiene routine, you will not have to deal with it anymore if you follow these steps that I showed you. You do not have to buy the exact brands that I showed you, that's just what I have. But what you need to keep in mind and be aware of is that the cloth that I showed you to buy is 100% rayon. So if you are looking for other brands or you're browsing or whatever, just make sure that is 100% rayon it's not any blends or anything uh, the mineral salt rock that I have that I chose to buy is called Thai crystal deodorant you do not have to buy that same brand that I bought keep in mind that the ingredients is supposed to be 100% potassium alum and in the form of a salt block mineral rock I do not now before I found the rock the mineral salt rock I tried crystal deodorant and it's at Walmart and it is a mineral solution I guess that is uh, diluted in water and it has a little roll on and that actually did cut my smell a little bit minusculely but I did notice it but it just wasn't perfect like the rock is so if you have an odor like mine if you relate to what I've been saying you might not want to buy any sprays any roll-ons anything that is diluted at all in water or uh, just buy the rock itself the rock uh, this is so inexpensive too I bought a two-pack before I think it was like $12 or something for a two-pack whenever I bought it a couple years ago anyway and I lost one and and one got thrown away and I had to buy another two pack and then I actually told this method to somebody else who had trouble with body odor and she's been since using it. So that uh, block that I showed you in the video that I have had that for more than a year. When you receive yours it's going to be like a, a hefty block but mine is kind of like a little nub now because I've been using it for over a year. I have a 100% rayon cloth doesn't matter the brand or anything like that. I get the Korean exfoliating washcloths. I can't really attest to anything else like African net sponge, you know, that is very popular these days or uh, anything, but I can't really vouch for any of that because I've never used it. But if you have something like that on hand, maybe you can try it. Maybe you'll have uh, the same results that I have with the Korean washcloths. Just make sure that the mineral salt rock that you get is 100% potassium alum. Like I said, I don't recommend that you get any of those sprays, uh, any of the diluted, uh, you know, solutions that you put on there that contain water and other things. Um, I just don't believe that they work as well as the rock. Also too, I'm going to talk to you about my first use with it. Because you are exfoliating and removing the hair um, from under your arms, you're likely going to be a little bit irritated, more vulnerable on there. So if you ever heard the phrase putting salt in one's wound, putting water on the, the rock and then applying it on there, you may experience some burning like I did my first time. And I used it and I was like, oh my gosh, this burns. I'm never going to use this again. But then I noticed that I was not smelling throughout the day at all. No odor whatsoever. And I was like, well... 
I think I'll take a little bit of birding for me not smelling at all. This is miraculous and amazing, so I'm not going to just discontinue use. But I did notice that my skin kind of uh, toughened up, I guess you could say, and it's not, it doesn't burn me anymore. But just be aware that you may experience some burning, and if you feel as though you need to discontinue use, then go ahead and do that. It is all up to you. This is your choice. I am just giving you my experience. Also, you will not smell. If you do the this hygiene routine the way that I explained it in the video, you will not smell. But you, have, like we've already discussed, and I've already said that because your odor was so you know pungent and like it was so stubborn, it clings to fabrics and stuff like that. So you possibly may have to throw away your clothes and buy new ones, like new shirts and stuff, because. Unless one of you in the comments can say, oh, I know how to get the odor out, the, you know, and you can give us the whole breakdown on how to do that, that'd be amazing. But I have not found anything that works to get the smell out of my clothes. And honestly, I borrowed one of my friend's shirts before and I completely ruined it and she wore it to work and her boss was like, oh, you smell. And it was not her smell, it was mine in her clothes. So keep that in mind too. I'm so very sorry that you have experienced this. I really don't know what causes it. I mean, I've heard that it is bacteria mixing with your sweat and the bacterial overgrowth causes this odor, but some people have it and some people don't, but you don't have to deal with it anymore. You don't have to suffer with it anymore. Sorry it took me so long to share this with the world. I've known about this since maybe like 2020 or so. And so it's been a long time and I haven't shared this, but. Um, if you know anybody, a uh, friend or family member that may need this, consider sharing this with them. I know that it may sting a little bit to receive something like this, but this uh, this new hygiene method will bless them and bless your nostrils as well. <laughs> Please comment, like, share on this video. If you try this method for yourself or if you know somebody who has, please let me know down below. Please share your experiences. Please encourage each other in the comments. Alright, it's been real guys. I thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you very soon. Bye!